This week, we're holding the question of if we didn't have these historic creeds, then what would be left of our faith? I remind myself of when I came out to my grandmother. I asked her to watch this DVD for The Bible Tells Me So, and I sort of left her at home to watch it. When I got back home, my grandmother was busy doing things, and I said, what did you think of the movie? She said, it was fine. I pressed, but what did you think of the movie? And she said to me, Darrell, if I believed the things that are in that DVD at the time, then I would have to throw away everything I believed about my faith. I realized in that moment the humility that in many respects, these ancient sayings, these creeds, was a foundation upon which she had built her faith. And if I was honest, they were some of the foundation on which I built mine. I don't think it's about throwing away these old creeds or traditions, but I think it's about inviting us to say, but what are they saying to us now? My grandmother, who's now open and affirming and welcoming of all LGBT people, found a way to stand on those traditions, but invite something new and fresh. I think we're invited to do the same.